Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Eight. We're playing Dragon Quest Eight. Okay, so we're leaving Escanther. Alright, so as I was saying, we are leaving Escanther and heading to Yangus' hold hometown, which is south of here. So Hooray! So other than that, uh how's everybody doing? For bad vertical sandwich. Okay. I am also fine. Okay, and we're back. We keep it. I keep getting attacked by bows. B O E. Just one single enemy, which does me no good. Attack in groups if you're going to attack. Now we'll see. The next random attack will probably be. I'm going to leave the next one in. Okay, here we go. Now one enemy. Look at that. The jerks. This guy won't take much either. There we go. <laughs> one turn. It took one turn. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. So anyway, not a lot uh, up at this end, like, as far as... Yeah. I don't know. It's Monday, so, uh... I watched football yesterday. That's, uh... Wait, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday. I didn't watch football yesterday. I don't know, we, you know what, I'm gonna leave this in, have we dealt with these kissers yet? Have we had to fight them, that they're like the more advanced versions of the ones we had to fight outside of Fairbury when we started? I don't know, well whatever, you're seeing this battle, so... Whatever, and then I don't have to s stay silent and stumble over the fact that I just thought it was Monday when it's Tuesday. It's pretty early in the morning though, I should be able to be forgiven for that. Oh, it's not that early. 7.30. It's early for me. So now you know exactly when I'm recording this. Exactly. Alright. A nice little body of water off to our, uh, our right. Okay, I'm also not sure. It's been a little while since I played last time. I'm also not sure about uh, these guys and their... how new they are. I like it when enemies do things other than attack me, like assess the situation. Why there isn't one that just stands there picking its nose? I don't know. You would think for how much. Uh... Oh, we got a, oh we got a magic beast hide. Okay, cool. That's a thing, right? That's a something. We could use that for something. All right, and uh, so here is a. Uh... Ow. <laughs> Mini demons. Oh, they look so good. They even forks. Not even pitchforks. Those look like actual forks. <laughs> like, they're not that small that they could use actual forks as weapons, right? Like. Okay. So let's see. So we had like a Jessica plot line, and then we had uh, like a. a uh, an Angelo plot line, so it makes sense now that we're going to like Yangus's hometown, right? So this is like uh, this little lakeside cabin or whatever. Uh, you can stay here. You can save your game. Uh, we can pull this book off the shelf, which actually, um, yeah, actually just tells us how to make the snake skim whip, which we already know. So, meh. Take that. Alright, so if there's not anything in here, we're in good shape. We don't need to do either of these things, but like... Customers, are ya? Yeah, 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 you're an inn. You say the same thing as everybody else. Alright. Oh, I was, you know, I was banking on something happening during the night here that did not. Alright, anyway. 
So now that the thing that I thought was gonna happen isn't gonna happen, um, we kind of stayed there for nothing. I mean, we we seriously, the journey ahead of us is not so hard that um, we really needed that refresher. But whatever, it was 40 gold or whatever. So it's not. All right, a clockwork cuckoo. So this is another like upgrade enemy, like where we've we've seen a work, weaker version of this. And... Uh, Angelo has no abilities whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. That thing doesn't like Genghis. Oh man, Jessica does nothing to that thing. That's ridiculous. Well, that's a reasonably effective attack for being throwing a handful of stones. I don't. Man, this thing's tough. Although, it, it definitely helps that our main character does, like, ten times the damage like Jessica does. Good for us. We should be the strongest. We're the hero, after all. dun da da dun Oh. Anyway. Blah! That's it. I should commentate this as a vampire. Let's beat up the metal wings! Blah! Whoa! Paprikans. Okay. This may be a little rough. This is a lot of enemies. It's been a long time since we had to fight six of anything. Have we ever had to fight six of anything? Now that I think about it? Jeez. Yeah, if they just concentrated on one person, they could easily like, kill Angelo. Then we have to go back to that stupid cabin. And I don't think that you can zoom back there, so. There are some places like that. So, although it'd be a completely convenient place to zoom to. Oh my god, and we caused no deaths. <laughs> we may be in trouble. Depends on how our agility kind of falls out, who attacks who first, and things like that. But, I mean, that's an RPG for you, you know? Sometimes you gotta go with luck. Oh yeah, cast Fizzle all the time. Just make all all your next five turns that. Alright, one down, five to go. Damn it, Yangus. Alright, two down, four to go. Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you, Yangus. Alright. That was hardcore. And yeah, he's got to level up as a result. That makes sense. He earned it. Six skill points. Let's allocate those skill points. Alright, we're gonna, uh... Oh, great! Attack power by five. Good, because we're gonna equip him with a scythe at some point in this game. Alright, let's do some healing. There we go. Alright, onward! Eventually there will be some sort of path or something. Uh, see a treasure chest! Oh! We were almost there! Clockwork Cuckoos. I guess it makes sense as a, a name, but... Yeah, we might as well, like... She's not doing any damage at her normal kind of level, so... Man, look at that d damage! It's ridiculous our hero can do that. that that's awesome. You know, I suppose that, like... You know, it doesn't come up as an issue, but, like... Like, metal enemies like this, there sh or maybe it does come up as an issue in this game, I don't know, I haven't really paid attention, but like, it would be really hard to damage one of these things with like a whip, or a club. It'd be far easier to like, damage one with an axe.
you know, because you could, like, you know, you can cut through metal with something sharp, like, you know, tin snips are a really good example. For those of you who don't know what tin snips are, they're j oversized, goofy-looking scissors you use to cut tin. Um, you know, but I mean, you could beat on a piece of tin with a whip all day long. Just a thought. Just a, you know. Woohoo, we got a dagger! You could stab, like, a spear through something made of metal, too, you know? Like, really. Oh! Our key doesn't work. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll have to make a mental note of this place. Oh, okay. So now on the map we can see kind of where we're going. That first place we're going, that is not Yangus' hometown. That is something completely different. Something that I am going to tackle as soon as possible and is going to be um, completely uh, important, at least to me in this game. I think that this is one of the more... Oh man, five enemies again. They're really like they're really rolling out the the red carpet for us here. Uh, but it's one of the things that like I think it gets kind of left aside as far as strategy goes in this game. Like I think people tend to maybe people don't tend to not worry about it, but uh, the walkthrough that I used to go through this game when I started replaying it never mentions this. <laughs> like. Mentions just like the very opening part of it and like then never talks about it after that Because this is a whole big deal like the thing that is coming up. I mean, it's like a huge deal so And incredibly complicated. It's gonna take up videos of this LP entire videos of this LP are gonna be devoted to this dumb thing so But it's awesome So, and also has some of the funniest scenes in it, like, which we won't get to for a long time, but like, the, the characters involved in this thing is just ridiculous. Alright, so what I'm trying to say is I like it, and I will be paying some attention to it. And you will either have to deal with it or skip it. <laughs> like, And I may do that, I may actually do kind of auxiliary stuff with it that can be skipped. If we're going to make bonus videos about this game, it's definitely going to be about that. So. so there you go. So we will be hitting that place and I'll be talking about it. On some level. On some level. I'll be talking about it right away. What am I talking about? Okay. So it's this big stone building. And, uh... Oh, well, never mind. Gorillas. Not gorillas. Gorillas. No, it actually is. It's gorillas. Actually. I suppose it's just... Why did they... Wait, gorilla does not need an E. To sound like... I mean, I get that it's supposed to be punny, like, you know... Goer is in, like, blood and guts, but, like, just, it just, it doesn't make any sense, because, like, G-O-R Illa already sounds like Gore. But whatever, who cares? Oh, my God. All right, this guy, this is Mori. He doesn't want to talk to us. All right, here we go. You come to see me, and I ignore you. What was I thinking? Come, speak, I listen. Can't you already tell Allow that this is going to be awesome? I introduce myself. I am Mori. Here, I borrow my ears to the wind. Yeah, <sighs> fantastic. Him and I have the same facial hair. <laughs> like, that hadn't occurred to me. <laughs> but I have hair. There is someone magnifico come here soon. That's us! So, ragazzo, <laughs> you are yeah. a traveler, see? Yes. Then, I ask you one favor. Here, uh, take this. Uh, what? <laughs> Homework! Ew! 
Uh, You're when a jerk. When we talking, eh, you take a look at these memos, eh? Each one has written on the information of the notorious monsters. <laughs> okay, there you go. Find them, fight them, send them to me! It is not to worry, ragazzo. For you, it will be a slice of cake. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. It will be a slice of cake. <laughs> Buona fortuna and good hunting! Thank you, Mori. I don't really know what the. All right. So this guy gives us these three memos, and they list three monsters. So, yeah, Slimy Smiley. <laughs> Smiles is his name, and you can read they have really goofy descriptions and stuff. But like, the uh, the point is that there are three monsters, and these are those non-random encounter monsters we've been seeing. Three of them we can now fight and send to Mori. And then if you fight one and you come back to him, he'll take your memo. And then when you get all three, it unlocks a bunch of stuff. And like everything about those non-random encounters has to do with this building. And like this guy. So. And I'm going to get these as soon as possible. The three he gives you memos for. Well, Lonely Joe, we already saw. He's the, the suit of armor. He was on our way to the ruined abbey. We had to avoid him. Um, the calamari kid, we'll, we'll get to uh, pretty shortly. And then uh, we have to advance the plot a little bit to get to the to smiles, the slime. These are going to be ridiculously easy enemies to defeat, by the way. Um, and like I said, the minute we can do it, we're doing it. Like, end of story. Because it has some really weird benefits. And that's what I'm all about. Weird benefits. Uh, no, I just, again, I think that... Um, first off, I'm really curious uh, to see... Kind of what the pacing is for what I want to do with it. Like, I want to try to do as much of it as quickly as possible. And I'd kind of like to see how fast I can... How far I can push myself with that. Um... Uh, Number two, for those of you who know what's going to happen, you know what a big kind of deal it is in the game. So, I mean, I suppose you could. You can go through the entire game without ever doing it. But, oh man, you'd be missing out. Because, like, again, Mori's really funny. Oh, Stone Axe. Is that, like, a weapon upgrade for us? It might be. We haven't gotten Yengis a weapon in a long time. Oh, holy crap! Write it in the history books. We just got a better weapon for one of our characters from a random drop. Like, that's sad. That means we need to buy Pankis a weapon or something. So. Ugh. Oh, cows! Alright. Well, we're pretty... We're getting pretty long in the video here. So I'm gonna get some milk from these cows. Uh, and fight this battle, apparently. Alright, well that's an easy way to get rid of one enemy. Flame Breath! You cheater! Oh my god, Jessica's gonna die! Oh, it doesn't matter, we're right outside of town. I mean, I hate when people die during battle because they don't obviously get the experience then, but like... I'm not letting these monsters beat me. They're going down. Yeah! Take that, everybody. Alright. Well, there we go. He didn't spew Fire Breath, which actually might have done some pretty devastating damage to our party. So. Alright. Oh, and Angelo got to level up! Woo! So, anyway, so when we get into Pick'em, which is Yangus' hometown, we'll be shutting this video down. So, Oh, Angelo learned mid-heal! I didn't even know he knew heal. I should have thought about that. That he's all right. Woohoo! He learned flame slash, which we'll never use.
And as you can see, that cuts our healing time down to nothing. I mean, we really can't just fill people up. Look at that. Great. It's fantastic. Alright. Yay, milk! Alright, everybody. Uh, when we come back, we'll be in Pick'em. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.